Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Desk and I am back with a, another video and in this video I'm going to be going to be talking about well very briefly about uh, manifesting and how I managed to manifest my um, boyfriend my sort of like dream boyfriend and things like that so for those of you who haven't watched my vlog I have to remember to link it down below it was sort of like an update and sort of like introducing him like to my vi to my videos and stuff and for those of you that have been uh, watching my channel for a long time you'll know that I've always wanted that sort of um, that special someone in my life and so far I've not managed to find that person and yeah so I'll run through quickly the story of how we met and then I will carry on <laughs> with the video but yeah so uh, I actually met him online on a dating website called Plenty of Fish um, it's an English dating website don't know if they have that in America or not I'm not too sure but I met him we started talking online sort of mid-July when I met him the end of July he uh, he messaged me because I, those of you that sort of like go on dating websites and stuff you'll know especially if you're a woman that you tend to get loads of really like horrible and sleazy messages and stuff like that but he sent me a nice message just saying hey how are you like your name is beautiful and I just wanted to like send you a message say how beautiful you are and so like I sent him back a message and then he like sent me back a message and we sort of going back and forth asking each, uh, asking each other questions and things like that and he was giving he wasn't just giving like one word or one sentence answers he was literally writing like an essay's worth which was really cool so we sort of got to know each other quite quickly and then we swapped numbers we started chatting on whatsapp and then a couple of days later we spoke on the phone for the first time for like a couple of hours and every night for a week until we met in person we were speaking on the phone for a couple of hours and then yeah and then when we we met up in uh in my local town and he had bought me roses and we went for food and drinks and we went back to his parents to meet his parents and had a cup of tea and then yeah and then I went home and then after that we sort of got together and that was that really so it's sort of been nearly nearly three months now and the cool thing about him is that he's really uh he's really open like he knows all about like my channel he knows all about my path like he knows all all that sort of stuff and he's christian as well which is uh quite different but he's very very open-minded which is uh really really awesome and he's open to doing videos on my channel like at a later date and yeah and he's uh really cool and he's basically everything i'm looking for that i didn't think i'd ever find so i was looking for someone that was sort of romantic that would like treat me like a princess but that was uh funny and open and ambitious and had their own goals and sort of thought outside the box and someone that i could sort of share my whole self with and my whole path and my craft and everything and yeah and it's really awesome to be able to have found that person and as well he's like comes with a lot of life experience and things like that which is really cool and sort of different um experiences and perspective on perspectives on things than what i do which is uh really really awesome so yeah i'm just like really happy and pleased and it's just all so lovely and i've been looking for this for so long and i just think why has it taken until now and when i actually started really to properly think about it there was this one this one moment this one time that i can uh pinpoint in my in my mind what makes me think that i actually manifested him is obviously the qualities that he has were qualities that i was looking for and qualities that i've asked on numerous occasions and um put out to the uh universe and things like that and spells and stuff like that and i just think that he was waiting and that the uh like the goddess wasn't going to 
bring him to me until she felt I was completely ready like my um, ex-boyfriend we broke up a few years ago and we still sort of kept in touch and still sort of saw each other and on a casual basis and I haven't actually seen him in person for like nearly two years and I guess I was hung up on him still maybe to a certain extent but I feel but the really crazy thing that I think or that I know to have happened is so it was on a Saturday in July sorry me adjusting my bra it was on a Saturday in July uh trying to think of the date we met on the 28th so it was the week before that um so that was the sat before the Saturday so on the Wednesday before that initial Saturday um I'd been feeling really like down and low lately and really uh depressed and just like I don't know just feeling like when is it gonna be my time sort of thing and I remember I went to bed early and I was crying and I was really upset and I just thought to myself like I'm never gonna be with anyone or find anyone if I don't truly release like my ex-boyfriend like I feel like I still had a string sort of attached if I don't release him I'm never going to be open to the universe showing me an alternative so I was upset and I was led in bed and I just remember saying I I hope that you find happiness it's like James that was my old boyfriend even even though it's not with me and I remember being upset and crying and then after that I sort of felt like a weight was lifted almost and then it's so crazy to think that less than three days later and I, I had a message from Tom which is my boyfriend now and w I'd been on Plenty of Fish again for a couple of months and I really genuinely believe that it was because I'd actually physically told the universe that I or proven to the universe that I was ready for someone as I had actually finally let James go so I think the universe felt I was ready to meet someone and then after that very soon after that this new person this new opportunity was introduced into my life you know when they say one door closes and another one opens I definitely feel especially in this case that that was very very true and yeah so I would say for my top tips if you're looking to help on manifesting a positive and loving relationship and someone that nice that you deserve first of all I want to point out that it's very important to understand that just because you say I don't know you say these qualities or you're looking for this person if you don't actually put the work in if you just sort of just sit back they're not necessarily going to just come to you like you have to even I don't know join the dating dating the dating websites if that's what you want to do or if you want to meet someone in the real world you have to go I don't know you have to be open to going places or joining clubs or somewhere where you think your ideal person would be so it's very important that manifesting is a two-step process so it's important so you first of all say the qualities or things or what it is that you're looking for and then you number two you put the work in physically to be able to bring this bring this about so I would say either in your book of shadows or a notebook or on your phone or whatever you feel most comfortable using as your sort of medium for writing I would list the qualities that you're looking for in your um sort of like potential dream partner so um there's like you want someone with a sense of humor or um you want someone that treats like a princess or you want someone that's pagan um you want someone that's i don't know any of these things i think it's good to be specific why can't I speak I think it's important to be specific but not too specific so it's important to say that you want a good sense of humor and all this stuff sort of thing but try not to be too specific where you're saying I want someone that's like six foot five blue eyes blonde hair 
muscular build, like rugby player. I think if you're too, too, too specific, you sort of, you narrow down the sort of potential that's out there. If you give, if you give your, what you're looking for, but make sure that you sort of leave it a bit broad so there's sort of a chance for things to, for, you, for the universe to provide for you because the ideal person that you may be looking for might not actually may actually be slightly different to what you had in mind I mean Tom is slightly different to what I had thought my dream person that all these um he has all the qualities and everything that I was looking for he is a little bit shorter than what I'd sort of thought like that you know that I'd sort of like end up with or whatever but that's like totally cool and that's the whole point if I said oh and he, he's have all these qualities and he needs to be like six foot five I wouldn't have ended up with Tom because the universe would have been like well she he has to be this so this opportunity isn't going to work if that makes sense so try and keep it a bit not too specific and then yeah and then go out and then write it write all down all the qualities and you can either burn the paper and let the ashes fly out to the wind so this sort of like your um your request is being sent out to the universe or you can sort of keep it somewhere visible like maybe your altar or somewhere where you can see it every day and spend time sort of um looking at it and meditating on it every day and sort of um just visualizing him or her already in your life i think visualization is a very important thing as well i think that really sort of goes hand in hand with manifesting so spend like a few minutes every day just imagining what he's or she's um what your life is like with them in it imagining you guys going on dates or imagining you guys having your first christmas together or first holiday or first birthday or any of that sort of thing and then yeah and then, but also as well try not to be too focused on it spend a few minutes every day but then sort of put it to the back of your mind and go about your day and go about your life and it will probably happen when you least expect it so yeah so i've rambled on enough <laughs> in this video as i seem to do in all of my videos but i um would i would love to know if you have any sort of like manifesting success stories or anything like that so you want to drop them in the comments below that would be really awesome as i love reading people sort of manifesting what like things that happened for them and stuff like that and i'm contemplating sort of doing like a manifesting 101 series so i would love sort of any ideas and things like that and yeah so i will see you very soon in my next video blessed be